Welcome back to Whitetail Garage. We're going to put the stereo system in the 66 today. Try and get all that ready for the hot rod run. Got to move Yolanda out. She's back. Uh, so I got to get her out of the garage. Get the 66 in the center. And then uh, we'll start uh, getting organized and uh, start doing the install. I believe these kick panels are from CJ Pony Parts, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then I've ordered these from Crutchfield uh, that I will glue those. I'm just going to use uh, like the low temp uh, glue, uh, like hot glue gun, uh, to glue those just in the back end. And then uh, I'm going to use this template provided with the speakers to create those holes. But I'm going to, like I said, put the five and a half in there. Uh, because the uh, where is my other speaker grill? So I'm going to put the five and a quarters up front just because the speaker grill on the six and a half is way too big. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like this one, and this I think is probably just a problem specific to this brand speaker, this style of grill. But again, I'm not looking for crazy show quality thumping music, right? I just want a good stereo system, and I think I'll get that out of these. Um, but again, you know, different speaker, but, uh, just setting this grill on here, you can see the grill is just way bigger than that. Um, see how it's overlapping the top. I mean, I guess it'd look okay, but I think I can get the sound I want out of a five and a quarter and I think it'll look even better because these fit on there quite nicely all the way around. So this is the route I'm going to go. These are going to go in the interior quarters uh, back here. I'm going to have to cut holes in those. And then these are going to the kick panels. All right, so there's that one installed. I went and used those little retainers. Nice and clean install. So now what I'm going to do, so I can go ahead and glue this guy in here and have it in and done. I'm going to use these. I was already going to use these anyway. So, as I'd said before, you know, I'm not a huge fan of using the the wires that come with the speaker to wire them, but I don't have any of these tiny disconnects, quick disconnects, and they always run these little bitty guys. So, it actually works out anyway because I'm going to glue I'm going to glue this in and I'm going to go ahead and just run this bit of wire that they give you basically out here uh out of the out of the foam. Let me and get this to unfold like I'm so I'll just run this out of the foam uh, off to the side and then I can attach my regular length of wire back to the stereo from there all right so I already did the passenger side I'm gonna come over here and do the driver's side now I've got new upholstery so that's what made me nice and brave of poking this hole uh, and picking my spot um, because I do have new upholstery. This is painted here, and then this is upholstery. Uh, and so I, it actually came in the upholstery kit. I haven't done it yet. I wanted to do this first, and then I could put the new upholstery in later when I do the seats and everything. Um, and so now I'll walk you through what I did to get to this point with this one. First step was deciding where to put it in here, because the bottom of it I think is gonna get covered by the seat regardless of where you put it, at least for six and a half. So what I opted to do just for some consistency is these had these templates that came with the speakers had little arrows on them that kind of show the center and up. So I used that to align with the back of the ashtray and then uh, basically set the, the screw holes, not where they align with this, but where they align with kind of level, which is somewhere about in there. Um, and just kind of did my best guess there. Didn't do a ton of measurement. 
and then just got real close to the top edge here uh, because that's where the speaker grill will end up. So that's what I did. Okay, and then the best way I found to do this was uh, with the template lined up where you want, using an awl to start my initial holes to drill. Then I'm going to use this circle. I traced a circle on the inside of this. That's the circle we're cutting out. And I will just use a razor blade. Where did my razor blade go? Use a razor blade. Sorry. Like so. To just cut through. And we're going to do a big cross pattern. So it's uh, four, then, so you know, one, two, three, four cuts. Okay, so then you get all these flaps cut like this because those will all fold inside and that'll keep uh, this nice and tight. So I'm going to drill these and then we'll turn it over. And then from the back side, we'll transfer the circle to cut on the other side. All right, so holes drilled. Now we transfer this circle to this side. By the way, with this setup, uh, you can't run your cigarette ashtrays, at least not if you're running the big, thick boom mats to kind of insulate that, which is what I'm doing. But don't need ashtrays anyway, because A, you shouldn't smoke, that's bad for you. B, you're never going to smoke in my car anyway. And then also, finally, C, I have another idea. I want to put uh, rear seat heat. I want to put seat heaters in all four seats. And I thought, what better place than to put the seat heater button hidden underneath here? So I'm going to build a small pan that has that same exact shape, but is just a little bit deep enough to hide the seat heater button and put it in here. So that'll be nice. You'll be able to slide that open, flip on the seat heater if you need to for my kids, basically. Okay. Got my circle transferred, drilled my hole, and then I'm just using my little, using my air-powered saw for this one. And there we go, hole cut. So again, all of these will fold back that way once the speaker's in from the other side. So, let's do that. All right, kick panels are in, and so are the rear quarters. Those speakers are in. So now I've got everything up here to just get wired in. So I'm just going to use the old uh, stereo, just pull those wires uh, to connect to my new pigtail. Uh, and then this yellow wire, I'm going to source power from the same uh, same point on the stereo harness that connects to a switch down there that well, if you could see that one that switch is uh, going to kick on the electric fan uh, manually all right so stereo is in speakers are all in back there and the kick panels and of course the dash and here is the stereo. All set. All right. I guess I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.